So we are going to do a firmware update on the Leica Q version 3 that was in 2018 when that came out. And there's a few things we have to look for. First of all, we need to charge the battery before we attempt a firmware upgrade. That's very important. We cannot lose power during the update, so the battery has to be charged. Once it's charged, take it out, insert it in your camera. Now, the next step would be to insert a, an SD card. You take the SD card where you want to do the update with, and then you have to format the card. Turn the camera on, go to menu. Either you click up or you go down through all the menus until you hit format. It's probably on the last page. There it's format on the last item. Then you take a right, a left, and the enter button in the middle. There we go, now the card is formatted. Turn the camera off, take the card out. <coughs> now, the card we take to our computer with a USB card reader. We insert this in the computer, and then on the computer we download and install the firmware on the card. So in Google here, I am looking for uh, Leica Q latest firmware upgrade, update firmware. Uh, the first entry already is from Leica. So you go in there, there's the Leica Q firmware 3. A lot of talk there, and then uh, we have here this file you want to download, we see this in the file size, around 50 uh, megabyte. Click on that, and then the download starts down here. Okay, once it downloaded, <coughs> we go to our download folder, and then uh, we insert the SD card. That's the SD card here. That's what's on there, because we formatted it on the camera. And then here's the download folder, and we take this and drag it in there and wait until it's copied. Then we can delete everything and eject the card. So then we insert the card into the camera. As mentioned before, the battery is fully charged. And when we turn the camera on, we need to make sure that we push the video button at the same time. So you push and hold down the video button and then turn the camera on and wait what happens. There we get a menu. We uh, scoot over to the left. Doesn't work with touch, so like that. And say enter. And then it does work its magic. Now, it does not have a progress bar. You see up here on the video screen that I have my own progress bar, so that you see now how long this is going to take. But how fast it is really has to do with how fast your SD card is. And uh, you just have to wait it out until it's done. In my case here, it doesn't take too long. You're going to be witness when it is done 100%. And a few seconds, there it goes. Done. All right, <coughs> then you follow the instructions. It says reset or restart the camera. You do this by turning the camera off. Wait until everything is off and then turn it back on. Then it restarts, and after the restart, it has the new firmware, hopefully. In order to make sure of that, we're going back in the menu. Oh, here's English, okay. Time format, all right. And so now we go into menu. And then I think on the last one... Somewhere it says it about camera information. Let me see if I find this here. Here on the bottom. And then you take a right here. And there you see version 3, so the update was successful. <coughs> 